Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more FTL Captain's Edition with our Slug Cruiser! We are still very much limping along. Got a little bit more useful firepower for me. Um, it's still not fantastic. I think the only thing I have a gross excess of is crew. I would happily trade away any one of these guys' lives in exchange for a really good weapon like, let's say, a halberd beam. That would be awesome, but oh well. Alright, I don't really want to spend too much time inside of this nebula, if I'm being honest. I mean, it's okay. The rebels don't chase me very rapidly, but it's just not worth staying in here too long. Search the record for survivors. Sure, but this is probably going to damage me. Yep, it does. Halberd Beam! I did just say I wanted that, didn't I? <laughs> how, how, do, how do I actually feel about this? Oh, the answer uh, is pretty good. Yeah, Halberd Beam's uh, a really good weapon. It's one of the better ones. Uh, however, I believe that it does have a pretty high power requirement. Three power. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. So, I could... Turn off the adaptive effector, just use the burst scatter and the dual laser to try and burn through shields, follow that up with the Halberd Beam. The Halberd Beam does two damage per room. So even if you can only burn them down to one shield, it still can do a little damage, albeit not much. What I'd love to see happen is have the Adaptive running and the Halberd Beam. That would be great. That'd be really good. But I need three power for this sucker, and I don't think it's physically possible. I can only get two more power bars. So, this could mean in the future I need to get rid of the burst scatter and have the adaptive, the halberd beam, and the dual laser. This will take a little while to get running, but once it does, it keeps the shields locked down. Dual lasers help a little bit in the early game, and then the halberd beam just starts cutting through them. Why is my... Oh, I just realized my AC... My O2 is off. Haha. -ha, no. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's have O2 on, please, and thank you. Why on earth is my O2 off? This storm is bad. Nebula and a plasma storm. Yeah, that's why. Okay. Well, good news is we're okay. We caught that before we died. That would have been very embarrassing. Okay, Halberd Beam. That's good. Someone tell me what the odds are of getting the exact gun that I'm asking for, especially in con uh, Captain's Mode, where there's, like, already so many extra weapons. I feel like it's not very good. Uh, Black Market Hub. Um... Yeah, we can sell some missiles for scrap, 100%. That sounds great. Let's do that. So, we need to upgrade this and get at least... Uh, I can only get one power bar, but that's good enough. Yeah, um, I need to do this because before we go into any more fights, I think what we'll do is get rid of the light laser, put on the halberd beam. And actually, I just realized something we could do, use a dual laser and the burst laser to burn through shields quickly, and then the halberd beam follows up for short-term fights... Long term, though, we use the Adapt because it can lock down enemy shields for good, I think. Let's get the power back on, by the way. And we actually can turn on, like, all of our systems if we do it this way, too. Oh, that works. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, um, where do we go next? Well, let me go over here. See if we can find anything exciting. Uh, well, big pirate checkpoints. Um, I can't pay your toll because we're one scrap short. So this is about to be a very good test of whether this is true or not. Uh, you have no piloting system, which is interesting. Let's, uh... You've hacked my weapons. This is going to be a problem because I have long-charging halberd beams. He's going to do some crew teleporting, too. Well, I can vent you into space, so have fun with that. What kind of guns you got here? That looks like a charge gun of some sort. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't have any major, like, missiles. He has an ion bomb. That could become annoying, I admit. And also he popped over here, another place where I've got oxygen. That works. Wait, where are you going? Okay, you go over here, I guess. So we're ready to try and attack him. I want to get rid of these weapons. I would love to get rid of the shields. We can do both. And Halberd Beam for the win, like this. Boom! There we go. Oh, yeah, you got a hack. I don't care. Look at that. Just did a load of damage to you. All right, shut the doors so we don't lose any more oxygen. Keep an eye on everyone's health. Make sure we don't lose this. 
I am going to make sure you guys can not repair your shields, because I want you to fight each other and die to fire. Literally go die in a fire. Like, literally just though, for real. Like, literally die in a fire. Okay, some extra system damage there. Should keep these shields down for a while. And then the halberd beam should be able to just shred through you at this point. Uh, I accept your offer. And then uh, I open fire, because I'm a slug. Oh, we can't. Come on! Let my sluggy self go kill people and betray. Why would they stop me? If you're going to give me this power-up, like, let me actually use it consistently. Don't do this nonsense of like, oh, sometimes I can kill them and sometimes I can't. Come on. It's not fun. All right, there we go. Either way, we won that fight fairly well. That's actually a good example of where the Halber Beam can work. Let's go down over here, I guess. We have a repair station. Oh, this is actually good because it lets me do some repair for a discount. I will do... I don't think we have 20 damage. I'll do 10. Yeah, we didn't have 20. So that discount works for me. Um, then we go here, I guess. I don't know, I guess got, I gotta work a little bit closer to that exit, a little bit. Your jump leads to a remarkable binary star system. The view is beautiful, but there is nothing else around. As you wait for the FTL to charge, you suddenly feel the cold barrel of a blaster gun pressing to your neck. Sorry, Captain, I was spying for the rebels all along and I have already informed the fleet of your position. A patrol ship is on its way. Treason! Well, I got a slug. So having telepaths on board really contributes to personal security. Your slug addresses the rebel spy. Have you not realized that your blasters magazine has been emptied? We knew about your intentions since you came on board. We let you see the wrong flight data as well. No rebel ship will come. We even know that you have doubts about the Rebel fleet and thoughts of abandoning your mission. You already have contributed greatly to this crew. If you want to join the captain for real, now is the time. Your Rebel-affiliated crew member is pretty embarrassed. They admit they had thoughts about changing sides. Your slug will continue to have an eye on them just in case. The real question is, which of you was it? The only one I know for sure it wasn't is Lord Dragon and Marks. That's it. Greg, Marks, and Dragon are fine. The rest of you, you're all suspect. This is canon now. I don't trust any of you. Let's go ahead and move on this direction. Keep heading toward the... Okay, asteroid belt. Toward that exit. And an automated scout. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Well, it has mind control, which we can counter. That's always nice. Keep these engines running nice and hot. Uh, we want to get rid of those shields, obviously. I don't like that you have a missile system, so we need to get rid of that quickly, too. Fortunately, he missed, thank God. Go ahead and try to do some system dam- Oh, gosh dang it, you missed so many shots. Come on. How could you do that to me? Incoming bomb, incoming bomb- Oh, boy. Well, run, I guess. And then repair the weapons for the love of God, I guess. Pew and pew. Oh, my God, you can't keep missing like that. Ah! Got away. Okay, break the mind control. Do the repairs. O2 is broken. Fix it. Go fix the uh, engines. I know there's a breach. We'll fix it in time. Here comes another missile. <sighs> Freaking hate it. I hate it. I hate the missiles. I hate them. Okay, finally we get some damage out. There we go. Okay, it wants to overload. It doesn't have a missile anymore, though, so that's fine. You guys get over here and help repair. We don't have an oxygen system for a moment, so that's why we're having issues. I don't think... That he can... Oh, break that. Stop shooting my guy! Oh my god! You're gonna kill him! I don't think he can do anything to repair these, so we should be okay. The trick is, if he gets away, he may explode. So... We're gonna try... To do damage to his engines. It's been delayed. That's good. Your lasers mean nothing to me, fool. Okay, do some damage there. Got him. Okay. Whew! That got closer than it should have. 59. Scrap. Yo, boy! That's pretty good. I would really love nothing better than to have a fourth bar of shields going into this final fight. In lieu of that, an option, of course, is to get lots of engines so we can have more evasion chance. That usually would be considered to be pretty solid. Um, you move here and you move over here. And then everyone go back to your positions. Okay. 35% evasion is okay, but not nearly good enough. There is a store. 
can try for one more jump before we go there. Let's do that. Curious if something good comes out of this one. Please, something good. Uh, there is a one-man shuttlecraft heading toward me. Use my slug. No one is there. Advise caution. Yeah, we avoid that. All right. Do we go to the store? The thing is, what do I need at a store? I can't buy cloaking. I don't think they're going to have anything I can use now that I think about it. We don't need any more weapons right now. I don't need more fuel. We'd waste fuel going here. Hmm. Maybe instead we just kind of mosey around over here a little bit. Let's go to the distress beacon and see what's going on. I don't think we need to go to the store. I just don't think we're going to have enough scrap to buy the things that I actually want. Uh, another civilian trader is going to suffocate. Uh, we could try to take their stuff or we could try to get some free scrap. Let's try for that. Hopefully we can repay... Gosh dang it. All right, so they're not going to repay me. Um, that's no fun. I think sometimes that works out where you would get, like, free scrap in the next sector, but in this case, not so much. And there's a huge satellite. Okay, try to knock out some weapons. Not the weapons I might have cared about. And there's all... Oh, frick. Okay, we just got a personnel drone, which is now trying to kill my people. I just realized we don't have all of our shields on. We clearly should. This feels like a longer fight. I'm wondering if it would make sense to turn on the other ion weapon instead. We have got to try to knock out those weapons. Okay, we did get rid of the missile. Whoa, that was a big boy. All right, you run. Um, we've almost got this drone down. We need to take out his shields and also his drone control quickly. As long as his missiles are down, that's what I care about. I mean, I don't like the ion, don't get me wrong. But that's not what actually scares me. Okay, halberd beam. Hit this. Boom. There we go. Okay, so there's no dodge chance on this guy whatsoever. Let's go and heal up over here for a minute. My en uh, shields are completely down. Hello, bomb. I assume you can't hit in the other room. That's a fire. Let's go ahead and open the doors. Use the doors, Luke. Oh my god, here comes another freaking personnel drone. And why is my halberd beam... Oh, ions! Okay, we're gonna lose all dodge chance for a bit. We have to get out of that, though. I can't... I can't have that. Okay, um... You still don't have a missile on, which is the important thing. Uh, okay, we missed a shot. I was hoping to get at least one more shot out to do some system damage and take out these dang drones. We're waiting on the halberd beam regardless. Here comes some more bombs. That's fine. I don't think you can do anything. Uh, pew, pew, pew. Oh, he's got his missiles back on. Well, I'm not going to allow that. Okay, he wants to blow himself up. Simulation show a high chance of terminal failure for this station. Okay, well, we're trying to get rid of your bombs and your drones. I have no door control. Oh, great. So that means that there's not going to be any oxygen over here for a while. Okay, I have to take out his engines and such. A halberd beam, one good shot with the halberd beam is all I need. This'll do it. There we go. Okay. At least we avoided a lot of the hull damage. 63 scrap! Holy crap! Okay. So everyone's at full health. Um, the NG and the slug are going to be doing some repairs on the doors in zero atmosphere. Try to get this repaired at least enough that we can just turn on, uh, close the doors. Got them. Okay. And now, now we'll start getting some oxygen to feed into these rooms, and we're fine. Okay. So, pretty much everyone go back to your posts. Um, that was a fun fight. We were actually doing pretty well with it, though. All right, piloting's broken, too. I forgot about that. Yeah, let's get that all fixed up. So, 150 scrap is good. Um, I need something like 300 in order to get the next uh, shield upgrade. Which, I'm just going to go out there and say I think my odds of getting that are pretty low. We can make these three jumps. Let's do that. Please don't throw anything horrible at me. Oh my god. Okay, you've got something big here. Um, I refuse to pay. Let's see. You don't have... Okay, you got a crew teleporter you're working on over here. That's a big freaking 
missile. Oh, God. We've got to get rid of this somehow. Good news is he doesn't have extremely high levels of um, shields, so we could burn through this using the halberd beam for sure. Okay, and then you need to hit the shields after that. There we go. Okay, that did some damage. It wasn't enough. Oh, God. Human, go over here. He's trying to hit my piloting so I can't dodge, which is pretty smart. Okay, here comes the scatter shot or whatever it is. Uh, uh, I don't like it. 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 Okay, but... We can do a big bunch of beam weapons here. All right. Um, supplies, if you let them live. I could try to betray them. That said, we've had issues lately where betraying doesn't always work, and I feel like this is not a very good prize. I f do I? Uh, I'm gonna annihilate them. So I, I, I could betray my word, but if, as we've discovered, apparently it is possible for you to not be able to do that. I don't know why that would be the case, but it does sometimes happen. So. Let's uh, prevent them from repairing those weapons, thank you. So, I would like to just guarantee that we can kill them. Got it. Okay. 64 scrap? And also spend some time making another sweep. This probably means that the rebels get closer, but we're going to try it. 240 somewhat scrap? We can go to the exit now. We have to. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Let's, uh, let's finish repairing up the ship. But, but... That was a pretty huge haul. Oh my god, we can get the next round of shields right now. Oh, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. It's too important. Okay, we're healed. Everyone's looking good. Let's go to the exit just before the rebels can catch me. Every bit of scrap I've got from here on out goes to engines for evasion chance. Uh, sell drone parts for scrap. One hundo posento me do. I have zero use for that. So, I guess I'll go ahead and grab a bar of this now. And that lets me turn off the med bay and get up to 40% evasion, plus we have four bars. Somehow we've turned this into a potential run. I'm not going to say that our odds are very strong. I still think it's highly likely we're going to lose. But we're getting closer. Explain the mission, weakness of the enemy. We've seen this before. We get some fuel. We get some uh, hull points. I can socialize, which I guess I'll do. Uh, doop, 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 doop. Humanoid. Gosh, freaking virtual ball team. You didn't have anything more useful to me than that? Alright, fine. Uh, so we might fight a lot of scary ships on the way there. The base is over here. All the repair stations are far away. Are you kidding me? So the question is, do we make an immediate B-line for that, or... How many fights do I think I need to take? How quickly can you get to the base? A couple of jumps. I don't know that we can get to repair and get all the way over here. I think we just have to go this way. And as we fight the enemy, pray, pray, pray that we get a lot of scrap. Intervene and defend the outposts. You have something scary. These look like all lasers and no missiles, which makes me a very happy boy. So we are going to instead get the halberd beam charged up. We can use mind control plus these to burst through your shields and guarantee that the halberd gets a really good shot off. I want to hit shields and weapons primarily. Let's go ahead and hit you here. Then pew pew, pew pew. How did we miss? How did we actually miss that? He's He must have autopilot. All right, well, rather than waste the halberd beam, we'll just try again, hang on. Okay, that's apparently the best we're gonna get. Good enough, boom, there we go, did some damage. Yeah, this is like a charging weapon, but it's not a very scary charging weapon. He has to like fire a huge volley for it to be worthwhile. Okay, so that's fine. We're kind of immune to this guy. Is that a flat gun? I may have spoken too soon. That looks like a flat gun. Ah, you got a shields up just in time. Yep, that's a flat gun. Ooh, he missed. Thank God. Okay, not doing enough damage to these um, weapons. I, I need to actually get a full volley off on him. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, flat gun appears to be down. We're going to try to prevent him from healing up his weapons. 
Okay, he is... The ship hull creaks under the stress of the combat maneuvers. You hope the ship can take it. Why would my ship not be able to take this? This feels like... This feels like a normal event for me. Okay, they killed their mind control guy. That's hilarious. Got him. And your flat gun missed again. Thank God. All right. 52 scrap. 48! <laughs> yes, please! All right. More engine power for me. Thank you. Brings me up to 45%. And I have a bit of scrap to go. Um, we can go here and then head for the flagship, and I think we have to. I don't want to go here because the rebels are going to get control of that beacon, and that means I'm going to be fighting some big scary things. The Federation fleet is here, fighting against the rebel fleet. Ooh, it's a standoff. All right, there's a Federation medical station. Wait, why is it fighting me? At first, massive explosions and plasma flares in the distance distract you from the small Federation outpost, but then there are rebel marines on board. Oh, great. And they have crew teleporters. Okay. Well, shut down what you can. So he's popping up over here. Send our human to go and assist. Send Rock to be nearby. Those are big missiles. No, 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 no. Let's go ahead and mind control you guys and let them fight so we have less um, crew teleporters. Uh, I need engine power. My oxygen's down for some reason. Get that back on. Oh, thank God he missed. Okay, pew, 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 pew. I can hit his oxygen. I need to hit the weapons, so I mean, got that. Okay, that takes out one missile system. It's not even necessarily a very good missile system. Missile system, it's just one of them. Oh, there's fire, crap, and there's more crew teleport. Okay, hang on. We're gonna have to deal with this fire. I need to get oxygen, of course. Um, I wanna hit this weapon. I wanna stop him from repairing it, mostly, but. Okay, hit him hard. Do this again, because it distracts him. Two damage there. He's keeping his missiles up and running. Gosh dang you. Wish you would not do that. Okay, we're under attack, but I've got rocks. <sighs> okay, here come the missiles. He's shut down his missile system, which is interesting. We're going to mind control you here. Oh, he hit my shields. Okay, but we're preventing him from doing anything else over here. Now's my chance to try to hit through his shields and weaken him for the next round. We can also do a lot of hull damage. It helps a little bit. Yeah, you keep that laser up. I don't care about that. The laser can stay. The laser is fine. A-OK -okay with the laser. And yeah, I love that they're fighting over the mind control so much. That's just great. Okay, pew pew. Pew pew. And again, halberd beam. You know what? Halberd beam with an attention for doing hull damage. Can't quite hit four rooms, unfortunate. Whatever. There we go. Weapons are going to get hit really hard. All right. Um, you go to the doors and lock him down real quick. That buys a little bit of time. And one more volley of the halberd beam will finish him off. Okay, he's coming in for the kill. Let's send the rock. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Wait, I need oxygen. Get out of here, Lex. Don't die. Don't die on me. All right, we also wanted to do this. Okay, just like, die. Whew, okay, okay, okay. How much are we gonna get this time? 62, thank you. I can't really afford to take any hull damage is one thing we gotta be careful about. Hull damage is extremely detrimental right now because I have no good way of fixing that. We can buy another power bar and we can buy more engines. And I'm going to. So we're up to 48% now, evasion chance. That's pretty reasonable. Just get everybody healed up real quick, and then we'll move on to the flagship. Okay. Do we think we have a good chance at winning this? No, not at all. But I mean... It's the best we can do, dang it! All right, this is it. The rebel flagship. We're going to try to jam him. And it works, and he's cloaked. He's also about to do something. Um, we need to try for the really good ion gun here. Oh, I also need my oxygen back on. And how do I not have enough power? I thought I had enough power to do all of this. I guess not. Well, go for the evasion chance then. He's, oh, don't, no, 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 no. Hacking of the shields is so bad. Oh God. All right, and this is a huge freaking cloak. Fine, fine. Big scary weapons on this guy. Big scary weapons. Oh boy, all right. Is the layout different? I don't remember these guys having rooms all adjacent to each other. I don't think they used to. 
That's kind of weird, right? Huh. Well, anyway. So I need this weapon to charge as fast as freaking possible. That's what I need, because this thing is... Everything hinges on this working and having a ch Oh, my God. Thank you at a dodge chance. That's huge. Let's go ahead and mind control you so you can't dodge. The dual lasers do nothing. Actually, yes, they do. Pew, pew. Darn it. If we had actually hit that, I could have possibly used the halberd. All right. This is only going to get stronger. Ah, cloaks. Okay, he's draining my shields. Yeah, no, not the missile. Okay. Woo! 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 Big beam! Big scary beam! No! Alright. Took that down. Hit him. No, oh, he hit my weapons. He hit my weapons with his beam. Nope, 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 nope. We're so screwed. That is just still going! How is it going so long? Oh my god. Alright, get the halberd beam up and running again. Here come missiles. Uh Okay, um, I'm up to level three, so I need the halberd beam to work right now. I oh, it's cloaked. Crap, he's hitting my shields down so fast. If he hadn't ha hacked this, I think I had a chance. But there's no way. There's no way we can win this because he hacked the one spot that I can't protect. Uh, okay, we're gonna die. Get that halberd beam up and running. Hit him. Hit him. Got a halberd. Uh, what do I hit? We hit this. Okay. Two can play at that game. Did some damage. Oh my god, get the power back on here. Jesus. Why is this off? Okay, so we've got all that going for us. That's good. Now we use this to knock him down again. His shields are down to only one bar now. It's cloaked. Here come the missiles. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. No! And there it goes. There's no way. There was no way we could have won that. I think we had a slight chance until he hacked my shields. Yes, I know there was a brief moment where I let my shields lapse and I should have turned that back on. But I don't think it would have mattered. It was the same situation. If he had not hacked that... I think we had a slight chance. This ion gun is good. I mean, that would have permanently kept him down to one shield bar, so the halberd beam could have gone nuts. But it takes so long to spin up, it's just not worth it, it turns out. Dang. All right, well, Captain's Edition, everybody. Um, there's a lot of content, and it's much harder, in my opinion. Uh, it's, it's really, really hard. But the slug ship is certainly fun, and definitely in the early game has a unique playstyle, which I kind of appreciate. So yeah, uh, if you guys want to see more modded FTL in the future, I can certainly arrange that. It depends a lot on what you guys would like to see. We could do more Captain's Edition, or I could try out some other overhaul mods. I'm open to whatever. In the meantime, though, I think I'm going to sign off here. So thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. So that would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.